what's going on everybody today i want to discuss a little bit about goku's transformations so as we all know goku has a lot of transformations so today i just want to discuss is there too many transformations i also want to talk about other techniques as well so we'll discuss that later in the video but as always if you do like this video please leave a like on it i greatly appreciate it and it does help this channel a lot and i do upload videos quite often so if you don't want to miss out on those please hit the subscribe button i promise you you won't regret it so without further ado let's get into the video so as we all know goku's transformation is one of the most popular transformations in anime there's no way you can watch anime and have not heard of dragon ball z but there's a reason besides that that this transformation will always be iconic and one of those reasons is because of the story of Son Goku. Some of us have been with Goku since the original Dragon Ball manga. So for some of us, even if he has a tail, he's always been human to us. But that changed in Dragon Ball Z. Because literally on episode 1, everything we thought we knew about Goku changed. Eventually we got his background story, we found out he's from a race called the Saiyans. Now we always knew something was off about Goku because who else in the series can turn into a great ape, at least in the original Dragon Ball. But of course Goku denies this as being raised on earth, he truly believes he's human. But this changes in the Frieza saga. When Goku goes to fight Frieza, he's still saying he's a human from earth. That is, until Vegeta dies and Krillin dies. He needed more power he can get from ever being a human. So that's when he finally accepted his heritage and he finally transformed it to a Super Saiyan. So this is what I think that transformation represents. I think it represents Goku finally releasing his true self. Because of the rage he got and him finally accepting himself, he finally was able to transform it to a Super Saiyan. Now this is where it gets a little annoying for me. Now don't get me wrong, I do love the transformations in the series. They are always badass and they are very enjoyable. But I feel like we have too much. At least ever since we got the guy transformations, it felt like a bit too much. Like, ever since Battle of Gods came out, we've gotten three transformations from Goku. Four if you want to count Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. I just personally think Dragon Ball is relying way too heavily on transformations. I mean, Super Saiyan isn't even relevant anymore. Goku barely uses it. Which is a real shame because one of the most iconic transformations in anime has been reduced to rubble. So I want to ask you guys a question. How would you feel if we stopped getting transformations in Dragon Ball Z? Now, don't get me wrong. Even now in Dragon Ball Super, every transformation has been hype. Dragon Ball does not mess with their transformations. It never misses. It's literally the god of transformations. But I'm thinking maybe we need to go back to events the story more because at this point we're getting a transformation every arc and that's seriously gonna die down so far in the dragon ball super manga they have actually been doing pretty well with the storytelling sure it's basically the same thing goku fights a new villain blah 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 but they're actually expanding the universe which i really appreciate but if i see one more transformation i'm gonna lose it Honestly, if something becomes more powerful than Ultra Instinct, I might just have to give up on Dragon Ball at that point. But like I said, they are doing very well with the world building, so I do have some faith in them. I mean, honestly, I can't be the only one that misses how iconic and important the Super Saiyan transformation was. But okay, besides that, let's talk about something else. At this point, I want to talk about techniques and how they impact transformations. And right off the bat, I'm going to bring up how I hate how they did the Ultra Instinct technique. See, this is what I hate. I hate they made the technique a transformation. Ultra Instinct is a technique that almost anybody should be able to acquire if they train hard enough. So I hate, at least in Goku's group, how they made it exclusive to Goku. Even though I like the transformation, I think it's a little bit unnecessary. And then what really annoyed me is how they basically restricted it to just Goku having it. Besides the gods and angels, of course, they really didn't have to stop Vegeta from getting it. I mean, come on, okay, blue, blue transformation is kind of cool, but you really gonna stop him from getting Ultra Instinct? I mean, if you're gonna bring in this cool technique, at least have Vegeta learn it too. Hell, even some of the Earth fighters can learn. I mean, they aren't really that relevant anymore. Give them something that helps them fight against gods themselves. I mean, honestly, do you know how cool it would be to get an Ultra Instinct Krillin and Tien and Yamcha? Okay, maybe I'm kidding about the Yamcha part, but my point still stands. Point of the matter is, I think they could put a stop to these transformations. This is getting a little too far, but I just honestly want to know how you guys feel about it. Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Leave me your opinions in the comment section below. And without further ado, I will see you guys later.